Okay, guys, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Um, but anyway, this is the van. As you, most of you know, um, if you've been watching my latest videos, I am living with someone right now. So I'm taking the opportunity to clean everything out of my van and uh, do a little organizing. This bed is the Ikea children's bed. It's not a toddler bed. Oh, I don't know if that will turn right. I'm not sure which way to turn this new phone so you get a widescreen. So you're probably not going to have a widescreen on this video. Uh, I do have some camping items under it. Uh, it is about... Uh, I don't remember the length on it. I will put a link to the actual IKEA ad for it so you can get all the dimensions. But as you can see, I still have a little bit of room here for items. And I am emptying it out so you won't see everything. Once I get it cleaned and stuff put back in a little neater, then I will show you. The main reason I'm doing this video is because I had filmed how I use the Harbor Freight blankets, but the old phone turned into a brick and I lost all the footage. So this is basically why I'm doing this. These are the Harbor Freight moving blankets. Okay. This one was one that was cut in half. I made a hem by hand, a very rough, rudimentary hem, just completely ugly, and I put it on a bungee cord. I also have binder clips that I clip it up to get rid of the gap. So this one is just a cut in half Harbor Freight blanket. On the side, I have a folded in half Harbor Freight blanket and another folded in half Harbor Freight blanket again on two different bungees so that one when one slides which this one doesn't when one slides it slides behind the other to give me a nice two layer thickness and it's two layers too because it's folded in half now this is going to be the hard one i'll turn the inside lights on and hopefully you'll get a better view and i will open up the back and see i don't know how big of a view, how good of a view you're getting anyway forgive all the mess this is not how i lived in the van i sewed a really big hem on this one okay and it pulled it puddles at the floor here because i have things that i uh put against this seat same thing here but they're on like a track system with the bungee so when one is closed and the other one is closed it's completely giving me a nice two-layer situation there because the the front cab is where all that cold air is now these I can't bungee because I have headliner but I never had an issue although I never have been in it and I think the coldest it was when I was in here was maybe freezing which is 32 but I had my um little buddy heater I never had a mr. buddy big one I'm going to turn this and I'm going to hope and pray that, that you guys are not upside down. So this is another Harbor Freight blanket. It's two of them. I p just put them together like a sandwich and I use the binder clips and binder clip them all, all along the edge. Same thing here. I also use a piece of Reflectix here and there's a piece of Reflectix there back there too. You can't see that one, but there's two there two there so the side walls did get two just because I have two windows on the side uh, so yeah I mean that worked well for me again I have not been in this van since it's gotten as cold as it has been which is like you know 10 degrees so I really can't tell you how much warmer it is in the really really bitter cold than just regular cold like today today is like 50 degrees right now so it would be very very it would probably be too warm but when it was 32 and 31 the few few times i was in here it was incredibly helpful with the buddy heater going as well this is also a side view of the children's bed it is wood i have mattresses on it one is a three inch foam from um home depot this is a snuggie it's one of the things i couldn't get rid of it's a snuggie but it's pac-man which is always my favorite video game growing up this is another mattress a little small one inch mattress and it has slats the ikea bed has slats so you don't have to worry about drilling holes it already has slats but it's fairly long i mean look at it 
I'll show you where my seat is. This is the seat beginning, and this is how long it is. So only really my feet hung off, which is why the mattress is so long. And I just sat something under here. So there was a, um, a water container that sat under here. And it gave me just enough length for my feet. And, you know, and maybe I had like a maybe this much more foot if I laid flat on my back hanging off, which wasn't bothersome to me because I am a side sleeper. So it wasn't bothersome, you know, you know, it raised up a little, which was a little bit ir irksome, but not so much so that, you know, it bothered me so much. I mean, it wasn't that bad. So stay tuned for upcoming videos it might take me uh you know a few weeks to decide what i'm gonna do as far as cleaning up and whatnot and rearranging in here i have been again toying with the idea of bringing the bed and putting it at the sliding door side and just not using the sliding door at all anymore uh yeah we'll see i've tried that a couple times and it doesn't work for me because at some point i always want to get in through the sliding door for some reason to put something away or whatever but i'm debating i'm debating about just blocking this door. It's the only door I have. It's the only sliding door I have. So it's a nuisance only having one. I just feel like I'd have more room here because it's the passenger seat. So the passenger seat is slid all the way up. Whereas the driver's seat, I can't slide it all the way up because I need to be able to drive. So I feel like if the bed were on this side, I'd have all that extra space at the foot of the bed or at the head of the bed, depending on where I, you know, if I slide the bed all the way this way or if I slide it all the way that way, whatever. I might do that we'll see so thanks for watching stay tuned for some planner videos some random thought videos uh, i'm trying to do a video a week we will see how long that lasts it's a little easier in the winter because you're cooped up inside a lot more but when spring and, and summer cut get here you're out and about doing more with family and friends and you really don't want to be tied down to making videos which is why i don't get into the editing software and editing videos i don't do all that i film it on my cell phone and i upload it and boom that's that's what you get all right, guys, thumbs up, like, subscribe.